this is another um, large scale painting I'm painting, I'm about halfway through it but it's quite interesting at this point, I thought I'd just point one or two things out. Um, ignoring the sky, which I've sort of finished, that's just a, a blue on a pink, I just want to look at the the two sort of foreground colours I, I, I put on. I've got this pink colour here and this yellow. I just want to look at this set of mountains on this side and this set of mountains on the other side before I put a blue paint on top. Let's have a look at the, this colour here which is the the pink on the yellow. Now that pinky purple colour that's left behind is just the pure pink but it, it comes out as a, as a very different colour due to the yellow contrast around it. If we look here what I've done there is I've left similar sort of patterns kind of like scree coming down a mountain but I left it with the yellow. Now obviously that'll turn blue when we put the blue on top of that yellow and this will turn into that deeper purple there but I just thought I'd point out those two opposites. I've just done the opposite thing on either side of the painting. And we'll see what happens. So there's the same painting. I haven't put the foreground on yet, but um, let's just go back and have a look. Look at that green. It just contrasts between that and the um, sandy dark colour, which is a combination of the pink, blue and the yellow, but the green really stands out certainly. If we look over here, there's that purple there. Now that purple there is the same as that purple there, but just looks very, very different because it's got the underlying yellow and the pink. So I'll put the foreground blue on now. So here we are, um, I've put the blue on the foreground now. We'll get a close up and have a look at what's going on there. What you can see has happened more than anything is that the white and the yellow have suddenly really um, popped out due to the contrast. They probably will a bit more when I put the final dark brown layer which comes just into the foreground there. We'll just get a couple of close ups and we'll look at some of the dry brushwork in there. So this is pre there's going to be some brown paint put over here and in, in here. And down here as well. Okay, so that's the finished piece. Um, quite pleased with that. I think it all worked out quite well. The brown there is a, is on in the foreground brings the whole foreground depth forward if you uh, if you want to sign up to the email newsletter on the website homepage www.mjforster.com you'll get all sorts of uh, insights into these into the videos um, and exactly what I'm doing okay I hope you enjoyed that